Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to make a survival games minigame using the minigames plugin for Bucket. So uh, first of all we're gonna do uh, slash mgm create survival games to create our minigame. There we go. Um, and then I'll put up some join signs which um, is done with every type of minigame using this plugin. So mgm join survival games. I'll do it on the other side as well just to be symmetrical. MGM join survival games. Right, so uh, now we can start to configure uh, the mini game. So, first of all, uh, you want to set the end quit and the lobby position. Um, the end position um, is the position where the player will uh, spawn as soon as the mini game has ended and he's still inside of it. Uh, it's it also counts if you die inside the minigame, then you'll probably uh, be spawned to the end position as well. So we do MGM set survival games end. So I'm doing it right here because I don't really have a special place for it. You can make a special place for it if you want to know. Um, Alright, so now we're gonna set the uh, quit lobby, which is the position you'll be taken to um, if you quit the minigame by uh, using a comment or a sign of course. Um, so if you quit the minigame, you'll be uh, sent here as well, because, again, I don't have a special position for it. Now finally, I'll be setting uh, the lobby position, which will be once here again, because I don't have a specific lobby for this minigame. I'm just going to set it right here. Alright. So, um, next up uh, is going to be the player spawns, of course. So for that, I'm going to the arena, which is right here, of course. Um, then I'm going to start by setting um, spawn for the player. I'm going to do this by doing slash mgm set survival games start and then the number of the player, so player 1. Then we go to the next uh, stage and we do start 2. And we do it so on for every stage. Um, I'm not going to demonstrate it in the video, but you know how it works. Alright, so um, next up is going to be setting the type of the minigame. Um, survival Games is a PvP uh, based minigame, so we'll have to set it to uh, free for all. Which makes sense if you think about it. Oh, sorry. It needs to be uh, MGM set survival games type and then free for all, of course. Um, and then uh, we need to make those chests work, of course. So, first you need to add um, all kinds of items in the chest. I put some wooden swords, some apples, everything actually. Um, do not fear, they will not get every item out of this chest. Uh, we first have to do slash mgm sets survival games, and then randomize chests true. Um, and then we need to choose how many items they'll get. So first the minimum would be uh, 3 items, and the maximum would be 5 items in a chest. As you can see right here, minimum 3, maximum 5. Uh, this means that if a person opens a chest, um, he'll find minimum 3 of these items and maximum 5, so he'll never find all of the items. Uh, these are also at random, of course, since it's a randomized chest. Um, now we'll have to um, enable the minigame, but first, of course, we need to change the lives, because um, normally the lives are unlimited with free-for-all, but now we'll have to set it to one life, which is MGM set survival games lives to one. So now if the person dies, um, he'll be sent to the quit or the end position, and um, then he'll be eliminated for the minigame. So um, now we can enable the minigame if we want to. Um, there's a few uh, optional uh, things to do, but I'll get into that later. I'll first enable the minigame, MGM set, survival games, enabled, true, and now your uh, minigame is free to use. So I'm going to go back to the lobby and we'll test it out. Yeah, now it works. Uh, of course you need two players to start playing. Um, if you want um, them to start with like more players or you want to set a maximum amount of players, you can do it by doing slash MGM set, survival games, then minimum players for the minimum amount of players. I can change it to one. Um, or you can change it to any number you want. Um, I can also do MGM set survival games max players. Um, we can send it to 14 since there's only 14 spawns. I didn't set them all, but normally there are 14. So I'm going to rejoin again. So since there are now um, minimum amount of players of one, I can join the minigame alone. 
and it will start on itself. So it's first waiting for some players, and then the minigame will start in five seconds. All right, so um, now I'm uh, here in the minigame. Um, as you can see, uh, whoops, I still have the items from when I was here. All right, should be gone. Uh, so now when I access the chest there will be uh, a few random items um, you can see that there's five in it which is the maximum of items um, I can take them out and uh, nobody else will take them so that's how the, um, you make survival games uh, using the minigames plugin for bucket uh, thanks for watching um, I hope it helped you